In this video, we will look at templates. We're going to look at some of the items that you can put into a template and how you can create your own template. It's also worth noting that if you need a template created for your company and you don't either have the time or the resources or even the knowledge of how to create the template in the way that you want it, you can contact us and we will scope out your requirements and even create that template for you. Now on my screen right here is my templates folder on my computer. When you install Power Project, this folder location that you can see that I have selected at the top is where your templates will be stored. Most of these templates that you can see are actually examples, with the exception of the Alicosoft template. This is one that I created myself. Essentially what you do is you create the project as you want it, delete any live tasks or live data so that you're left with just the objects that you want in your template, and then you copy it into this folder. Once you've done that, the next time you go to File and New, the template will appear in the list here. So let's now create a new project using my template and have a look at some of the key items that are inside it. I'm just going to refer to this as test project for this purpose. So the most immediately obvious objects that we get in a template include things like permanent resources or consumable resources, cost centers, code libraries and more. Pretty much everything that you see down here with the exception of progress periods can be put into a template. Additionally, if I go to the view tab along the top of the screen here, I have various different views that will show me different information based on what I need to see at any given point. I also have filters, sort groups and tables. All of these items will be in every single project that I create from this template. One thing that you may want to add to your template, especially if you have similar sorts of tasks across multiple projects, is what we call task pools. You'll note down the left hand side here, I have some task pools already set up. Now if I go to my substructure, for example, I have a list of tasks here that are linked together and have all their code libraries. They could also be cost and resource loaded. I haven't created these whilst this demo has been going on. This exists in my template, as does my envelope, superstructure, and also some procurement strings. I can create my project from these items by simply going back up to my program and then dragging and dropping my task pool into the bar chart. I now have these activities in my project. I can then obviously add additional task pools and then link them together. Let's reschedule. And just like that, I have the starting of an entire program. Some additional reasons why you might consider creating a template is for the uniformity of your code libraries, particularly when it comes to reporting. Various reporting functions will require uniform or code libraries across all of your projects. For example, if you had a key milestones code library, but in another project it was called a key date code library, the report is not going to pick up key dates, it's only going to pick up key milestones. So having this template means that every time you create a new project, everything is standardised. Additionally, if you are using either our enterprise or our vision solution, you can add your template into those environments as well. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just looking at it from a standalone Power Project client. Now if I wanted to then create a template from this, as I said before, what you would normally do is you would delete any live data that's in your program, then check that all of the other objects that you want within your template are in place as you require them. And lastly, what you would normally do is go to File, Save As, browse to a location that you can easily find, such as on your C drive or your desktop, and then give your template a name. The reason you would normally save it onto something like a desktop is because you can't actually save directly into the templates folder. This is simply due to various Windows restrictions. So Windows won't let you save directly to that location, but it will let you move a file into that location. And I'll show you what I mean and how to do it. So I'm going to save my template onto my desktop. I'm then going to open my Windows File Explorer, go to my desktop, find the file in question, and then you can either copy it, cut it, or move it. Go back to your templates folder, which as mentioned before, 
is at this path name here. And then I can paste it in. Windows will most likely then say that you need administrator permissions copy to this folder. Now it's worth noting if it asks you for a password, Alicosoft won't be able to give you that password because that is a restriction set by your IT or your company. However, if you do have admin rights, simply click continue and then it will add that into your templates folder. If I now click file and new, we can see that my test template appears in the list and I can create new projects from it straight away. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.